Hi all, my name is Vishal Dabu. Currently, I am working with HC Unica Technical Support Team. Today, we will talk about the risk page in Unica campaign. Risk pages are mainly used to perform code operations, that is, create, update, risk, and delete campaign objects. Campaign objects are nothing but offers, campaigns, pushouts, etc. Risk page introduced in Unica in version 9.1.2 with version V1. The next version V2 introduced in 10.2. Now, in 12.2, we have the version v3 which is also having the swagger documentation in this video we'll discuss about how conversion is to be performed in platform to use v1 and v2 api calls also we'll demonstrate the example how APIs are executed using the postman tool with one of the gate of this api call now observe that while using rest api calls to create campaign objects people struggle to do configurations required in the platform the challenges can vary like using the sample JSON body, the parameters, URL which we need to pass, how to exit the pay calls, or even updating the configurations values for any version of the REST API calls. In this video, we will discuss this problem statement. To exit REST API calls, we use the Postman tool as it's been used by most of our users and our clients while working with the REST API calls. The first configurations we need to perform is to increase the token lifetime in the platform. This token will be used as a validation token for every incoming API request. Now change the configurations for the API authentication. Keep configuration values as displayed on the screen. The next configurations navigate to the Appenium suite, security, API security, manager, logout, and then change the configurations. You need to put the values as displayed on the screen. For the next configurations, you need to Click on the campaign node. You can see the rest we put to API configurations specific to V2 API calls. Put the values as shown on the screen. If you want to change the configurations for version V1, there will be another node campaign rest API filter. So these are the configurations. Very simple to perform. Restart your application server once all these configurations are done. You can download and install the platform tool for API executions. You can use any tool. Our main intention here is to provide valid headers, API URL, request JSON, and the type of call that it can be a gate call, post call, etc. The first call we need to execute is the post API call in the platform to get the token. As you can see on the screen, it will return as a token ID, which can be used in the subsequent API calls for the authentication. Here, the type of call is post URL you can see on the screen. There, you need to change your server name and the port number. Now, I will show you how the campaign APIs are executed to fetch the campaign off. In the search string, you can put any offer name you want to search for. It will return you a specific offer. When you execute this API call, it will return you a JSON body with available offers in the campaign. The type of call is get. Again, you need to change your server name and the port name. The rest of the URL will be the same. As I mentioned, if you want to change or if you want to put any specific offer name in the parameters tab, you can see there you need to put on the offer name which you want to search for. It will return you the specific offer in the JSON body return. The campaign rest API calls facility users to carry out operations like creating campaign objects, updating those objects, deleting the objects, or to list down the objects on the screen. And here, you don't need to log in into the applications because these are the API calls. You can report the link provided for list of the V1 and V2 API calls. It will show you all the available API calls over there. 